station on space to ground. Textbook arrival for the brand new Soyuz MSO-1 spacecraft docking confirmed at 11.06 p.m. Central Time. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. After a two day trip through space, a new Soyuz spacecraft and crew is at the station. Kate Rubens, Takuya Onishi, and Anatoly Ivanishin arrived at their new home for the next several months and joined the crew of Expedition 48. Rubens and Onishi, both rookie astronauts, got their first look at the inside of the station, while Ivanishin is returning for the second time. After a few minutes to say hi to friends and family, it was straight to work. And astronauts hit the ground running with a lot to do in their first week on board. Each of the new crew members has to take several blood, saliva, and other types of samples for the many human research projects they'll take part in. There are also several hours dedicated to what is essentially Space Station 101, reviewing emergency procedures, familiarizing themselves with where everything is located, even just learning how to navigate in microgravity. And with the SpaceX Dragon arriving next week, Kate Rubens jumped right into robotics training along with Jeff Williams. This week's Twitter question comes from Elsie, who wanted to know if the astronauts can get up and move around once the Soyuz is in orbit. They absolutely can. Once things quiet down after launch, the astronauts can get out of their seats and move up to the orbital module in the Soyuz. While still not spacious, it does offer some room for the crew to stretch out and provides food, water, and a bathroom. And for two-day trips like last week's, it also provides some space for the crew to sleep. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.